guys. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of This Week in Jet Nation. I'm Courtney Arillo. I just got back from the beach. I'm enjoying my last weekend of summer, probably just like the rest of you are. And right now I am grilling my backyard, practicing for my tailgating for the first week of football, mixing in with a little bit of IPA. So let's talk about who we're going to see this week on the field, shall we? So as we know, the team uh, definitely ran out of patience with a few of the players, and they were obviously released. Uh, topping that list is Stephen Hill, who was let go after a disappointing training camp. Uh, the former second-round pick never did pull it all together, and now he is looking for some work. Uh, Demetri Patterson is another um, player topping out uh, the stories. Um, he definitely rubbed the Jets the wrong way and was let go. He was AWOL. Uh, then he was back and released a statement saying that he wasn't AWOL. Uh, the Jets basically said that even though the cornerback is uh, – you know, their biggest need that the team got uh, the team does come first, so they basically sent him packing. The Jets are very happy with the quarterback situation, though, and they decided to keep only two on the roster. Geno Smith had a very strong camp, and he will definitely lead the offense, as we know already. Michael Vick is the veteran quarterback, uh, backup, sorry, quarterback. Uh, so the Jets decided to, to waive both Matt Sims and Taj Boyd. Matt Sims, though, was re-signed to the practice squad, so essentially he still is the third uh, quarterback. Running back Daryl Richardson was another player who also had a good camp, but he still couldn't make the roster. The Jets uh, are loaded at running back with Chris Johnson, Chris Ivory, and Blal Pal. Uh, Richardson was also signed to the practice squad. C. Milner is recovering from his ankle injury, and the Jets do need him to get better in a hurry. Antonio Allen, Darren Walls, Kyle Wilson, and the rest of the secondary uh, will be put to the test early and often. And failure, as we know, is not an option in New York. Uh, we will definitely find out if the Jets' pass rush can hold down the fort while the Jets' secondary tries to get healthy and improve. Wilkerson, Richardson, Pace, Babin, Copels need to make opposing quarterbacks miserable if the Jets do plan on being in the playoffs this year. Check out JetNation.com to see all the cuts and some analysis on who made the team. We have some wonderful new writers uh, that joined us, so please do check them out. John Idzik uh, didn't cut many of his draft picks, however, so hopefully they do turn out to be the real deal. As always, we want to know what you think. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, like us on Facebook. And thank you, as always, for all your support. And I hope to see you at the Raiders game this Sunday. Be loud, be proud, and always go Jets.